Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I am officially in cycle 3 of trying to conceive baby number 4. Yes, this is cycle number 3 and it means that I started bleeding, I'm on my period, I'm cycle day 1. I'm in a new cycle, which is a new beginning, and we're gonna continue trying for a baby at this cycle. And I learned my lesson, and this cycle we're not gonna do this every single day, like for five days in a row. How we did it last cycle? We're gonna do this once or twice probably the day before ovulation and on the day of my ovulation or on the day and the day after i haven't decided yet the thing is last month i had hard time fighting the right day because my test my tests all of them were pretty much positive i would say the second line was 99% positive and I got blinking smiley face on clear blue evolution digital test five days in a row and it was very confusing because having flashing smiley face for five days in a row it's a little bit kind of too much for smiley face and yes I was having this face for five days in a row and I got literally I got extremely tired having it for five days in a row with this smiley blinking face and finally after that I got a solid smiley face which is evolution and this time around I don't know I have no idea when I'm gonna be ovulating because Two months before um, I ovulated on cycle day 10 slash 11 and last cycle I ovulated on cycle day 14 every month is different and also I wanted to mention that last cycle um, I was already 17 DPO and only next day I started bleeding which is more than I expected like usually okay like 14 days past ovulation and even okay let's say next day or even a day or two before you, you already started a new cycle and in my case I was three days late which is fine which is still normal and I know that my body works just fine so yeah this cycle we're gonna do the things differently I'm not gonna add anything new everything is still pretty much the same progesterone cream I'm gonna start using it uh, at about three days past ovulation and until I get a negative I mean if I get a positive I'm gonna continue using it if I get a negative at like 12 dpo I'm gonna stop using it because you need to stop using it in order to start your period and I'm still taking prenatals 5 mg 5 mg yeah 5 mg and I'm okay with this and I stopped taking baby aspirin this because of my bruises so right now I don't have it here but yeah I have some bruises here and there on my body and this is not good I just need to stop yeah and that's it guys I'm in a new cycle last two months were not successful for me for us and I just live my life and trying to conceive. I don't want to build my life around TT Sync. I want to squeeze this TT Sync in my life because my life is so busy, so intense. And when you're constantly thinking about 
testing, ovulation, period, symptoms, it just a lot. It affects you a lot, you're constantly thinking about it and you know those days when I'm between first year of my period till I would say like first seven days of my period of my new cycle I feel relaxed I know that nothing is gonna happen I'm just bleeding and I feel relaxed and I rest I'm resting because I know that after that I need to start testing I need to be a little bit with some pressure on my shoulders because I need to find the right day to do this I need to test and I don't have to miss I just can't miss anything I have to test like in the morning, in the evening if it's around ovulation because who knows when it's gonna happen and it's just a lot and after that even if I know that I'm gonna start testing at 8 dpo this kind of eight days in between ovulation and testing it's it's hard because you're constantly thinking oh, okay what about what is the, this symptom what is that symptom what does it mean what is like what is it and is it like period related cramps or it's implantation or like whatever and it's just a lot and yeah Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Probably when I ovulate. I will let you know. And see you. See you soon guys. Bye.